I must say I'm very impressed. Uh, it's an amazing, uh, an amazing event. Uh, it's a breathtaking city, literally. It's a, it's a beautiful place, and um, it's really uh, for me a very exciting trip. The best part of being here in Beijing, is, uh, besides just being exposed to this this culture that's totally new to me, just being able to meet and see these other designers and just how talented they are. I mean, it's just amazing. I think we've met some really cool people. Got to learn uh, about their cultures, learn about their backgrounds. It's also it sparked off some new interests for me as well. So I've learned about different disciplines which I wasn't too familiar with before. And it's great to to get to know you know young talent from all over the world. And now that you know we get to know them, we have like almost like a global connection. I think that that was the most exciting actually, to, and to meet a new uh, meet other people, get to be friends. And uh, maybe there's some friendships going on afterwards. That's a good thing about, I think, the whole week to come here. Being at the Beijing Opera House, it was just, it was awe-inspiring to really be in that venue and to be um, in that sort of context where it's a great place to for the appreciation of arts. Knowing about ADAA in the past, um, it, it's, I guess, been pretty sort of singular in its existence, and then now it's partnering with Ecograda. Um, I mean, the scale of an international conference, it really just raised the bar up that much higher in terms of, um, I guess, exposure to, ex exposure of these student projects to um, its audiences, but also um, really setting up for what we could expect in the future. The conference was intense. I, uh, I met a lot of people, talked with a lot of different people from different countries, and where I'm from, I, I don't normally have the opportunity to do that. And they definitely have different insights on uh, design and uh, collaboration and innovation, and the conference itself, there was a, a number of good speakers that touched me uh, in terms of passion, the passion they had in design, and uh, really got me thinking and excited to go back home and start uh, designing new concepts, new ideas, new applications. Adobe has a long history with the design community. In fact, design and creativity have been our passion since Adobe was founded back in 1982. I see Adobe in, you know, more facets than I've seen it in before. Like, Adobe used to be just a you know, software program to me, but after going to the Adobe Design Achievement Awards, I realized that Adobe's got, you know, so many sort of initiatives that you know, help integrate its products with its users. And I realized it's not just a piece of software, it's a, it's a learning tool. It shows how much they care about up-and-coming designers, and it shows that they really want to help. Their products definitely are doing that, and this, this competition is definitely really helping a lot of people. You know, Adobe is really trying to, trying to connect with its new users, you know, trying to teach its new users how to be the best graphic designers, best film editors, and best, you know, artists, you know, of the next generation. Spending one week here, just being inspired by everything around me and every person I meet, I, like, I've, I've always waited for this chance and it was so worth it to come. I've always loved Adobe and now I just love them even more, I guess. <laughs> Yard. Super. Spectacular. Fantastic. Shamso. Atemberaubend. Großartig. Thank you very much to Adobe, to Claire. It was a very nice trip.